Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ravia and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am going to be creating this makeup look using all vegan and cruelty free products to the best of my knowledge. So these are all products that I love using and they also, all also happen to be cruelty free and vegan. The only product I am not 100% sure on is this Wet n Wild contour palette. Wet n Wild is a mostly vegan brand and they do on their packaging right here, they do have the cruelty free sticker, which is why I think they're cruelty free. But I do think that they sell in China, and in order for a brand to sell in China, they have to test on animals, which is why a lot of brands aren't cruelty free. But so I'm not 100% sure about that. But everything else I know is vegan and cruelty free, and I thought that this would be a great video to touch on this a little bit more just because I want to make my future purchasing patterns a little bit more clean and cruelty free. I don't want to say 100% vegan because I'm not sure if I can commit to that but I do want to 100% be a little bit more cruelty free because I do think little steps like that of helping out our planet, respecting our planet, respecting other animals like is so important so I just wanted to showcase some products that I am using currently that are standout stars for me and I wanted to create this really soft glistening look so this is a pink eyeshadow look that I created using only one eyeshadow that's it that I have on my eyes the skin looks really clean and just again really dewy and I did want to mention this is a dewy tutorial that is oily girl safe so this is something I do use like often when I'm going to work just a quick like buff of this foundation little minimal powder and yeah I feel like it lasts really well all day and all of that and so if you guys would like to see how I got this look please consider liking the video subscribing to the channel and sharing with a friend and with that you guys let's just get into the video so we're going to be starting out with the bite beauty change maker my seller primer I love this primer it's meant for oily combination skin and it does a great job of balancing my oils and next we're going to move in to the bite beauty change maker supercharged micellar foundation i use this in the shade t105 i love this foundation i do have a whole review up on it and my first impression so please go check that out and i honestly love this foundation with a brush so this is the morphe it's a morphe brush and i love to just smooth that onto my skin i feel like it blends beautifully and it matches my skin really nicely uh, Bite is also vegan, cruelty free, and clean at Sephora. Next, I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I use this in the shade C14, which is a lot deeper, just to cream contour my skin. And I like to just do that a little on my temples and on my cheekbones under my lip, on my nose, and a little under my chin to give myself some definition. This is my favorite cream contour product at the moment. It is vegan, affordable, and available at Ulta, but you'll see how beautifully, it's such a deep shade, I'm always a little scared, but every time I blend it, I just, it's so beautiful. It mimics the skin so nicely, as you can see, like I'm so impressed with it every time I use it. And I do like that I can build this up if I wanted to, go in a little bit more heavy. And yeah, I just use a rounded brush to blend all of that in. And you're gonna see at the end, like it sits so beautifully on the skin. And even though I was going for a little bit more natural of a look and not as heavy, I feel like this gives my skin like a really good bronze contour finish. With the nose, I do just like to go in with the same big brush and I feel like this gives a more diffused look so I still get to contour and shape my nose a little bit without it looking super harsh and done up. Next, I'm going in with the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer and this is in the shade 63, the middle ground. I love this concealer. I got it in a boxy charm. It's so lightweight. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, honestly, so if you're having a really bad dark circle day, I wouldn't suggest it. But I love how this performs for more a natural looking skin. And I'm going to use this to cover, do like concealing under my eyes or and down the center of my face. And I did let this set for a really, like about four minutes before blending it out just to get the optimal 
coverage out of it and so after waiting a little bit about four minutes again i did go in and blend it with my elf beauty sponge elf is also a vegan and cruelty free brand super affordable i need to do a full face of elf soon but i haven't yet next we have the palette that i am not 100 percent sure of so this is a wet and wild um the contour palette in the shade dulce de leche it's one of my favorite yellow powders I keep repurchasing it and it's so nice for brightening on my skin tone. Only issue is I'm not 100% sure if it's cruelty free because they sell in China, but they do market it that way. Uh, next, I'm going in with the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. Milani is also fully vegan and I use this in the shade 140 Rose Romance. Do not, I repeat, do not put this on the way I did in this video. You will get so much payout. I don't know, I honestly, I don't know why I think I did this so that it looked aesthetic, but it applied way too much. I suggest the, doing this like softly. And that was me realizing I put on way too much blush. So I'm going in with my foundation brush and just blending over top of it to subdue it a little bit. Next, I'm going in with a dose of colors X desi x katie um highlight in the shade mirame dose of colors is a fully vegan brand so all of their products are amazing this was the only highlight i have from them and it's honestly one of my favorites like i love how it just makes my skin look like it's glistening next i'm going in with the dose of colors block shadow eyeshadow and this is in the shade shall we dance this is so beautiful this is the only eyeshadow i have on my lid i didn't conceal or anything so the natural darkness of my eyelid added to the look so it looked like there was a transition but this is the only eyeshadow i have on and it shimmered and sparkled so so beautifully Next, I'm going in with the Pretty Vulgar. This is their Faux Real Mascara in the shade Black Swan. I really like this. Again, I got this in a boxy charm, but Pretty Vulgar is available on Sephora and they're, they seem to be on sale quite a lot. And I love, love, love all their products. Not only are they vegan and cruelty free, but they perform really well. This is a old bite lip liner. I don't even know if it has a number on it. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. But it's a super creamy lip liner. Bite is also vegan, cruelty free. You can actually, um, th their lip products are meant to be edible as well. Like not, you're not supposed to eat them, but if you did, they're not toxic and all of that. It, they're made for mostly like fruits and veggies, I believe. Next, I went in with the Dose of Colors lip gloss in the shade Spill the Deets. Dose of Color glosses are super beautiful. This shade was just a little too pink for me. I tried to take a risk and go in with this pink gloss and I just couldn't do with that shade on my skin tone or it just wasn't my preference in a gloss. So I went over top with something a little deeper. This is their gloss in the shade Seriously. And I love this one just on its own. And But I love her Dose of Color gloss. I feel like they do that so so well and that will complete this makeup look okay you guys and this is the completed look so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i found it a little bit more helpful maybe found some products that you think are worth checking out and yeah again i am not in any ways 100 percent cruelty free my channel is not going to be switching over to that because i do have a lot of products right now that i do love and i love using and i want to showcase but um I just want to make the more conscious effort of from here on out purchasing cruelty free products just because I feel like that's the one little step I can do to make a difference. So that is the plan. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, maybe you found some brands that you might want to try out, some products you want to try out. And again, you guys, it would really mean the world to me if you would, if you are not subscribed to the channel, to subscribe and maybe just share with one friend, two friends, maybe on your Instagram or Facebook or whatever, because it really helps me out. Um, again, I've mentioned it, I feel like every video, but I really want 2020 to be the year of growth for me. And you guys are the biggest help for me in that. And yeah, you guys, if hopefully you guys like the video, so please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. And before I go, I do want to just say, be careful out there. I know I haven't, I don't know really how to talk about the whole coronavirus situation, but I really hope that you, your family, your loved ones, everyone is safe in this situation. Please just make sure you wash your hands and stay calm. Like it is a pretty bad storm. 
and it looks like it's gonna get a little worse so just try to stay positive be as helpful as possible and just really like just wash your hands um, I think they said avoid touching your face. I can't, I can't preach that because I do it a lot. But just make your conscious efforts and we will all get through this as a the human race and we will, you know, like we're going to get through it. So again, I just hope everyone is safe, healthy, warm with their family, with their loved ones. And yeah, you guys, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye.